Thank you, Phil. Stay with us. Let's begin with a rumble between the executive and judicial arms of government in Osho State, Justice David Afolabi, who was named the acting chief judge of the state by Governor Ademola Adeleke after alleged suspension of the substantive CJ has rejected the appointment. In a letter to the National Judicial Council, NJC, the judge said his purported appointment was done by the governor without imputes from the NJC as prescribed by the Constitution and the judicial precedent. Today, I think this justice, um, this judge is just saving his, himself from imminent calamity if he had <laughs> taken that appointment. Yeah. I think uh, the Governor Jackson Adeleke and his minders they think they can take the judiciary for fools. This judge, the judge that David uh, um, Folabi, that they are trying to use to replace the substantive CJ, is not a, a fool. He can recall what happened to Justice Aladejana that they used in the Fayoshe impeachment saga. When they knew that the uh, CJ at that time would not play ball, uh, play ball they then decided because ab initio the Kitty House of Assembly had no concrete reasons to impeach Fawashi at that time. And they did it in a very silly manner. Added um, the deputy governor at that time. Mm. Uh, what's her name? Abiyadu Olujimi. Olujimi. Olujimi had no committed no offense. Mm. You could not point out what Oluji made it. Mm. So Oluji made then say, ah, okay, you you said you have impeached me. Tell me my offense. Because having impeached my boss, I'm supposed to take his place. They couldn't point out anything. They just felt, okay, if we don't like the two of them, we can we can send them packing. The law doesn't run like that. The law doesn't imagine that everybody's a fool. You must come up with your reasons for an action that you want to take. So that one went like that. The uh, President uh, Obasanjo asked for judicial advice from the then CJ, Belgore. And Belgore said, look, the House had no power to remove a CJ, either in form of a suspension or whatever. So Obasanjo then decided, because they had prepared, they had laid the table for themselves with the intention of keeping their own uh, 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 person as speaker. Mm. You know, when you send the two of them packing, they just needed to benefit from the mm. whole thing, you know. They wanted their own person to be speaker. To be so, governor. Eh? To be governor. Yes, I mean, acting governor. governor yes, that Friday yes. Adirem. Yeah, Friday Adirem. Mm. Acting governor. Obasanjo used Oluri, Justice Oluri, mm. to kick all of them into touch. As they say in football, kick, kick the ball into touch. They kick them into touch. Oluri became um, administrator. Uh, administrator, or what is it called? Um, caretaker, governor of the state. Justice Aladejana spent 16 years in the Kula. Mm. From 2006 to 2012, Ayo. Mm. Before it was in 2022. Last year, that the NJC just uh, released him. So, who is that person that will not want to learn from, from this experience? Let me give Nigerians the background. You see, politicians, as I've always said, the Nigerian politician is an extremely devious character. They are the problem of our democracy. You can abuse. INEC abuse, they are still the people who use INEC. If there are compromised people within INEC, it's still the politicians who compromise them. They are your problem. They are the problem. What they are trying to do, this woman was supposed to leave in October, having reached the 65 uh, uh, years at statutory age. But President Tinobu extended the, the uh, years of service of uh, judicial, judicial, officers. judicial officers now 
that category of judicial officers, they will live when, they're, when they are 70. They can't live with that reality because this is a, a woman that is very strict, is certainly not going to play ball. So they are worried because of that. They are trying to see how they can kick out of that position so that they can find a pliable person. But you cannot, you are not the NJC. If it's not in your place to investigate judges, yes. a judge and then say you are passing, it is borderline illiteracy. These people need to go to school. If you cannot read what is in the Constitution, then you have no business being in government, except you are doing it deliberately. Believing that, okay, maybe, uh, maybe I can get away with it. I mean, aren't nonsense. You are not, it's not in your place to investigate a judge and then send the report of your investigation to NJC. No, it is the NJC that will investigate the allegation mm. and then punish. Mm. I mean, it is a different You are not our employer. You may not, like her, you may not like the person, but it is our employers who, who can discipline her, not no, you. Somebody needs to tell this governor, let, let him go and learn from what happened in the fire shape matter. Because we see history unfold before us, and we are, we are not ready to, to even learn from history. What kind of a people are we? You are not, it's not your place to suspend any judicial officer. You have enough powers as governor. The powers that you have should be enough for you. Why are you have Nigerian politicians so greedy for power? The same people grabbing power, they, 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 they are cowards who cannot sign uh, ordinary death warrant. death warrant. People who are killing innocent Nigerians. You can't sign death warrant, but you can send uh, talks to go and kill people. What kind of people are they, Nigerian boys? I'm just fed up of these people. So that judge knows what he's doing. He's not a fool. He knows that if he tries it, he's in trouble. And he knows. Because in the extra five years, I've given judges the impetus now to resist things of this nature. Because, you know, because normally, a judge with six months to go, not all of them, some of them, with six months to go, can be coward mm -hmm. into that. Okay, you two can be CJ for six months. You go, out, you go out on the high, as they say in the US. And that becomes a problem. But with this window now coming in, because the governor has done something that he doesn't, he doesn't even know the consequences. This one is going to be around for the next five years. Yes. That means you are, you are running a state where the CJ can legitimately give an up those order on anything you want to do. You are creating an enemy when there is no need for it. Mm. Absolutely not. Because whatever you think you are going to need the bench for down the line has not yet happened. Oh. So there is no... I know even one year in August. Yeah, if people are telling you that we need to do ABC so we can do X, Y, Z. They are not your friends. They are bad advisors. But it's obvious that two things is happening that people don't get. One, last this year, President Buhari signed into law the electricity conversion bill mm. and, the and, rail, and the railway something. Mm. Just to bottle what you said, these are fundamental impetus for development. A governor will leave that aside. I've been worrying about whether I can get rid of a CJ. Yeah. I've been, there are so many problems in, that in governance that you can solve with little things. Instead of worrying about what will happen tomorrow, when nobody knows <laughs> who will even be there tomorrow. Oh. My challenge is because I've met the governor, he seems to be an agreeable person, very easy to talk to. Mm. And I'm surprised that he will that's fall for... That's why it's easy to misadvise him now. And that's why he's, he's falling that's for why something easy to talk to. Mm. Negatively inclined people will come and talk to you. Yeah, because they will just tell you that, that you do don't it. have a mind of you. Yeah. Because one thing when you are too nice is a problem. Why are you stepping into areas that is uh, not your forte? Uh, 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 a territory that uh, you ought not to go to. It's not your place to remove it, just like uh, the way uh, Abeti wasted his time in River State. Mm. You wanted you. your own person to become CJ. It's not your place. Right. And because it didn't, uh, it didn't work, he locked up, he locked up the, the judiciary. judiciary for months. That's the person who wanted to be president of our country. He locked up the judiciary for months. But at the end of the day, when his candidate was well defeated mm. by Wiki, is that same person that I did not want to see as CJ that became CJ of, of River State. Mm. Abi? So what, at the end of the day, what did he gain? What did he gain? Our politicians in executive position are really... I just want to misuse yeah. power. Because it's clear. 
Yeah. Like anything that has to do with uh, judges. It's of NJC. It's NJC. And the Constitution was very clear. Governor Adelike should understand this. Because I don't really understand. I think what happened is what you've just said. They were waiting for October. They already had the woman marked. Mm. And they said she should leave in October. Tops. By January 1, she will be on terminal leave. We can do this. That very thought that you are waiting for the CJ to go, you can put somebody you like. It's anathema to free freedom and justice. For that means you are already you you're already admitting that you are going to do something that is illegal. And you need your own person to be there to cover up that illegality. Mm -hmm. That to me is the problem. A governor should not be bothered about the person who is going to be CJ. Should not be bothered about the person who is going to be. Now they are something. they are arranging for civil servants to be demonstrating uh, that they, they don't give them what do palliance. Allowance. People who have not been given palliative. For you, how for many you. of them are challenging governors? When you go to northern Nigeria, you see how governors are on their on their feet distributing palliatives. I'm not saying all governors in northern Nigeria. Some, of, some them. of them are, are just like uh, their mates here. Yeah. Mm. You know? But a good number of them, they are giving so much to their people. I am going to show some videos in the coming days. Because I didn't just go to these places for nothing. You will see that this is completely different to what we see in southern Nigeria. The empathy, the empathy that governors from the far north demonstrate to their people. You see, getting involved in the distribution and committing so much funds. Approach towards governance. Yes, committing so much funds to, to the venture. I mean, even before the federal government talked about palliatives, we already saw Someone like uh, Zulum, he was already doing it. He didn't have to be told. Mm. He didn't have to be told before he bought buses to ease transportation. Mm. Some would take farmers right to their farm. Some would take students to school. This is what we need. This is gov governance. I've not cited palliative yeah. in this Lagos state. I've not cited palliative. Have you cited around? Uh, you want around, to see palliative around here? That's why I'm talking about them. Not just him. Not just some Wolu, because before you know it, they will say, okay, it's some Wolu that are talking about. I mean, how about others? How about that? Only say what is this? Yes, no, you, mm -hmm. we are talking about people deliberately. Um, this is for, I, I understand what yeah. it is. Because even me, I've not seen. And I'm not going to talk about what I didn't see, even with a gun to my neck. <laughs> I've not seen. Maybe uh, they distribute it in the night when most of us are. <laughs> or, they all, or, or they distribute it. It's possible. <laughs> And those of us who say we will speak to you, going on with we are now aware. You know? The, the Southwest, the Southwest. I've not, you see, I've not the, governors. I, I don't, I, it has to change. Yeah. It has to change. You see, some of the progress, uh, progress they are making there, you'll be shocked. You'll be shocked. you would think, okay, they are not going to ultimately catch up with you. The approach to governance will make them eventually catch up with you. Of indolent governors just just looking for power needlessly, and when they got into their hands into into it's funds okay. that they should not dip their hands into, it's, it's irritating. I mean, those, what, what are we talking about? Because, the guy knows what he's doing. He refused to show up for yeah. the so-called warning. In. No, that's the best because that's the best. Yeah. career. Just so so yourself in. in line, he doesn't yeah. want to get himself in trouble. Yes. David Afolabi. Find yourself in. Mm. You can stay like Aladeja now. Mm. Uh, uh, in, lim in limbo. Yes, in, in 16 career. years. In limbo. In, uh, so all of the productive years that you have. Right. You can imagine losing mm. 16 productive years. Yeah. yeah. That's what it amounts to. It's unfortunate. Okay. Mm.